How to read a chromatogram. Chromatography is something we have already covered in several videos on this channel, playlist by the end of this video. Today we will take a closer look at how one interprets the results from said chromatographies. The only thing you will need to know about how chromatographies work in order to follow the video is that they all separate compounds based on how these said compounds interact with the stationary phase inside of the column of the chromatography. This causes the different subcomponents of the sample to exit the column at different times and whenever something exits the column it is measured. The results from a chromatography is displayed in a chromatogram. The chromatogram gives you a well of information both in terms of the health of the gas chromatography device in addition to data which can be used for qualitative or even quantitative analysis. The retention time is displayed on the x-axis of the chromatogram and this is the time that it takes the sample from when it was injected into the column to run through said column and exit. The y-axis displayed the measured response of the analyte peak in the detector. The baseline shows the signal from the detector when no analyte is eluting from the column. The baseline should be low and straight. A higher and or irregular baseline compared to what is normal indicates a problem or alternatively that maintenance of the device is required. By comparing the different peaks of our sample in terms of retention time and shape to that of known compounds we can identify the different compounds present in our sample. Furthermore, the concentration of a compound can be determined by taking the peak area and comparing it to an example calibration curve of the same compound at different concentrations. If you would like to learn more about how chromatography works in general, check out this playlist. Until next time!